Okay, today we're going to look at some real life situations and we're going to find the area or the circumference of those things. The two objects on the screen are the two we're going to have a story problem for. We're going to look at a bicycle tire and then we're going to look at a swimming pool. So in order to determine if you're going to do circumference or area when you're looking at a story problem or a real life object, here are some clue words that tell you which one to do. If something is going to make a rotation, that's going to spin around. A revolution is also another word for that. If we're looking at the outside edge of something, that would be the circumference or the perimeter. If we had something with a border, some trim, the rim of a cup or a glass, um, a picture frame, something like that, we would always want to be doing circumference. Likewise, if the question is wanting to know area, the clue words are listed below. Anytime the word space is used, that's going to be referring to the inside of a figure. If I need to build something, the material I need to build it normally, depending on the object, but most of the time material means that inside space. So again, um, flooring, if you want to put carpet tile um, or wood floors, any of those things, you're covering the area of a surface. So that would be um, calculating area. And then when you're painting walls, that would also be area. Or if you're painting a picture frame, um, you're still covering a surface. So that would be area. The first question, example one, says the measurement from the center of a bicycle tire to the outside edge of the tire is 14 inches. How far would the bicycle tire travel if it made, oop, that should say one, one complete rotation on the ground? This doesn't have a picture, so for me, I'm a visual learner. So I'm going to draw a picture of this object. It says we have a bicycle tire. Tires are round. And the question is giving us information from the center of the bicycle tire to the outside edge from the center of the circle to the outside edge is 14 inches. So I'm gonna label that, 14 inches. Then the rest of the problem <clears throat> says, how far would the bicycle tire travel if it made one complete rotation on the ground? So here's where I'm starting to get those clue words. It's gonna make one complete rotation on the ground. The part of the bicycle tire that's touching the ground, that would be the rubber part of the tire. So a rotation, that is a clue word that you are trying to find circumference. Okay. <clears throat> the radius is only halfway across the circle. And diameter is all the way, just to review that. And this one you can tell is going only halfway across, right? From the center to the outside edge. So then that tells me that the radius is 14. If radius is only half, then I would double it to get the diameter. So that's 28. Now I just need to use the equation and solve for um, circumference. You have choices. Circumference can either be um, 2 pi r or circumference can be pi d or pi times diameter. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. You're going to get the same answer. And we've already labeled the radius and the diameter, so it's totally your choice. If we go with just the picture and it says 14 and that's r, <clears throat> then that means I'm going to do um, this equation, which you can do the other way if you want. But this one, I'm going to do 2 times 3.14 times 14. And again, for me, something that's easier to do is 2 times 14. That is 28. So now I'm going to have 28 times 3.14 
And for time's sake, I'm just going to tell you that that equals 87.92. And circumference is labeled in just units of whatever the measurement was. So I'm just going to say this is 87.92 inches for my final answer. Second example, the circular swimming pool at Janet's house is 16 feet all the way across from one side to the other. About how much space will Janet and her friends have to swim at her party? Again, since I like to see a picture of something, I'm going to draw a circular swimming pool. And this is telling me that it is 16 feet all the way across from one side to the other. All the way across from one side to the other is 16 feet. It's a pretty good size pool. Okay. The question is asking for how much space will they have to swim? Well, the place you're going to swim is all on the inside. And then a clue word, how much space, that means area. Because you're going to swim on the inside of the pool. The radius, remember, only goes halfway across. The diameter, it goes all the way across. So diameter, we've already labeled as 16 in the picture. It went all the way across. If I decide to only go halfway across and then stop, that's going to be radius, which would now be 8. And the last thing I need to do is work with the equation. The way you find area of a circle is pi r squared. And basically what that means is 3.14 times radius times radius. You have to be really careful on the exponent. This exponent does not mean times two. It means times itself. So radius times radius. I have to use the radius to get my answer. I cannot use diameter. Okay, I need that number. So I'm going to substitute that in. 3.14 times 8 times 8. Well, I can do 8 times 8 real quick. 8 times 8 is 64. And now I would need to set up equation, or I'm sorry, I need to set up a multiplication problem where it is 64 times 3.14. For time's sake, in this video, I'm just going to tell you what it is. It is 200.96. So they are going to have a ton of space to swim around in the pool. The area of this girl's swimming pool is 296 square feet of swimming space. Area is always labeled <clears throat> with exponent of 2. I like to also think about the equation had an exponent of 2 in it. So your answer has an exponent of 2 in it.